Grade 12, so we are now looking at physical sciences, November 2022, question 6, which is Doppler effect. Let's attack this question. It says, Elena investigates the relationship between the observed frequency and the frequency of the sound waves emitted by a stationary source. All right. The learner moves towards the source at a constant velocity. So at a constant velocity and records the observed frequency and records the observed frequency, which is FL for a given source frequency FS, which is frequency of the source. This process is repeated for different frequencies of the source with the learner moving at the same constant velocity each time. Okay, it's quite a, um, a lengthy statement here, but we need to pay attention and please highlight in the exam as well. It says here, the graph below shows, the graph below shows the observed frequency changes as the frequency of sound waves emitted by the source changes. So let's go to our graph now. On the y-axis on the graph, we are given the frequency of the listener. And then here we are given what? The frequency of the source. And we can see from this graph that the frequency of the listener is directly proportional to the frequency of the what? Of the source. That's what we can see here. Let's move to the questions. It says, name the phenomenon is illustrated by the graph. So name the phenomenon illustrated by the what? By the graph. So 6.1, we know this is what is Doppler effect. So we have Doppler effect. Our phenomenon here is Doppler effect. What they can also ask you here is to define Doppler effect. Let's go to 6.2. It says here, name one application in the medical field of the phenomenon in question 6.1. So what do we then use Doppler effect in the medical what? Medical field. So it's only for one mark here, but please remember that they can ask two or three in the exam. So the first one that we need to know is for the measurement of blood flow. So we have the measurement of what? Of blood flow. We have measurement of blood flow. That is number one. We can also have here Doppler flow meter. The Doppler flow meter. The Doppler flow meter. Doppler flow meter. The third one is also used as a measurement of futile heartbeat. So we have the measurement of the futile, the futile heartbeat. Okay, so these three here will account in the exam because here it's only one, but you can decide which one is easier for you. Measurement of blood flow, Doppler flow meter, and measurement of what? Of futile what? Heartbeat. Let's move to 6.3. With 6.3, write down the type of proportionality that exists between FL, which is frequency of the listener, and FS, which is, which is frequency of the source, as illustrated by the graph. And I think we have answered that already because we said that they are directly what? Proportional. So in the exam where they want to write it mathematically, you can say that FL for 6.3, frequency of the listener, is directly proportional to frequency of the word of the source. Or you can just write directly proportional. Directly proportional. You can also do that in the exam. You will get your mark. All right, let us move now to the next question, which is 6.4. It says that the gradient or the gradient of the graph obtained was what was, was found or is found to be 1,06. So we have our gradient here, which is 1,06. If the speed of sound in air 
is 340. So we are given 340 meter per second. We must then calculate what? We must then calculate the magnitude of the velocity at which the learner does what? Approaches the what? The source. So how can we then tackle this question here? We can start with our formula. We go to our formula sheet there, and then we choose the correct formula. So we start by saying FL, right? FL equal to, FL equal to V, velocity plus or minus VL over or divide by velocity plus or minus velocity of the what? Of the source. And therefore we multiply by what here? By frequency of the what? Of the source. So now since we have this formula here, we need to identify if it is moving away or towards the source. So we check here, it says as it approaches the what? The source. So we need to then change our formula and say that FL, FL equal to, I have V, which is plus VL over V, this side I can say minus V, Vs, minus Vs, all right. Now, do not forget that we have Fs here. Now remember, the gradient is given as what? As 1,6. So if we can do this, do this mathematically, we can have Fl over, Fl over Fs, yeah? In fact, let me just change this one, yeah? We can have F L over F S, which will be equal to okay, uh, V plus V L over V minus V S. Okay, let us see now. What is the gradient here? It was given as what? As 1,06, which will be equal to the V there we're given velocity 340. I'm looking for VL, so I will say VL, and then over, the source was stationary, so I'm going to have 340 again here, plus what, or minus 340. In fact, let me write that in full. This is going to be what is going to be 340. So I'll say, just fix my 3 here, so you can see, this was 3 over 340, minus zero. Okay, so now we have this, and we are looking for what? We are looking for VL. And therefore, what can we do now? We can take this 340 to this side, so we can say 340, this is maths, and then 1,06, which will be equal to 340 plus VL. All right, from here we can multiply the two, which is 340 times 1,06, Let's do that quickly, 3, 340 times 1,06, in fact, what I've written there is 10, so it's 340, please be careful as well in the exam, do not make the same mistakes or the same mistake I've just made now. All right, so here I'm getting 360, so this is what, this is 360 equal to 340. 340, so I have 340, 340 plus VL. We can take 340 to the other side. We can take 340 to the other side, but let's check this 360. If we never had a comma, it was comma what? Comma 4. Don't forget that in the exam. All right. What would be our final answer now? VL, if I say 360 minus 3, 40, I am going to get 3, let's just verify, so minus 340 quickly here, because we have our answer already, so we have 20,4, so our answer is what is 20,4, which is meter per second, do not worry about direction here, because they only said the magnitude, so that is what, that is 
6.4. Let us now look at 6.5. 6.5, we are given a statement that says that the investigation is now repeated with the learner moving at a higher constant velocity. So we have a higher constant velocity towards the what? The sound of the source. What are we then asked to do here? We have to copy the graph above in your answer book and then label it as A on the same set of axes. Sketch the graph that will be obtained when the learner is moving at a higher velocity. We can label this graph as what? As B. So now, let us look at the first graph that we had. We can have the same graph here. This was our graph that we had before. Okay. And then on the y-axis, we had FL. We had FL. We had FL, which was in what? In hertz. Okay. And then here we had FS, frequency of the source, which is also in hertz. So this was my first graph here. Now, this was my first graph. This was not there on the graph. And therefore, what we can do now is this. We want to know how will the graph of B um, um, look like here on our, on our graph. So what we need to do here is this. It says that it was moving at a higher velocity. So higher velocity, it means that the frequency is going to increase. The frequency will increase. And then how do we show that the frequency increased? Our gradient here now, or the graph that I'm going to draw now, it must have a line, it must have a line that is what, that is closer to what? To the x, to the y-axis in fact, because if it is on the y-axis, it means that it had a what? A higher frequency. So I can label this as what? As B, and this one as what? As A. But if I was told that the learner was moving at a what? at a lower velocity compared to before, the graph was going to be underneath A. But for now, the graph should be above what? Above A because it has a what? A high frequency now. This is how you show a high frequency. The gradient should increase. How do you show an increase in gradient? It must lean towards the what? The y-axis. It must have a steeper gradient. So that's what we have here. We have a what? A steeper what? A gradient, which is greater than what? Than A. All right, guys, this is how you then answer question six, which is Doppler effect.